Welcome to my first ever studio tour in Fort Collins. So here's uh, the wall of ideas uh, over time. Lots of different things going on there. Uh, and then I did a display on Chief Friday. Get a full view of the monumental piece then on that lower side and then the limited edition to the left, uh, the metal to the right and then the full process, uh, creative process in making Tea Friday. So um, this really is, helps people understand both the creative and the production process. Then we move over to Joseph Antoine Janice, a little display that I have um, with a, a limited edition metal on the left and the new head on the right. And a little bit about that process uh, with uh, Joseph Antoine Janice. This is uh, my newest series in concept. So this is kind of a neat display that helps uh, you understand uh, the creative impulse and then some of the production that I have to go through to get there. And so as you see here is the original Never Disc based on a 16, uh, 1600 bronze disc found in Nebra, Germany. Um, here's the mold that I made with the two layers, the uh, silicon rubber and then the plaster to support that. Here's a couple of wax versions of that just poured out of the mold. And, um, and there's my creative book that I use to kind of run through the ideas in my head. This all comes down to the Pleiades. Um, more to say about that. Um, here's sort of a work board of images and some of the research. And then down here are a couple of actual bronze reproductions. They're heavy. I would say they're probably about 10 pounds each. Um, and they just turned out beautifully. And so this is a series that I'm working on that will be unveiled in January 2019. Uh, let's move on to the more important things here. Libations. Some cookies and sign up for um, uh, my website. The fall harvest available for everyone. And then over here is the to live piece. Uh, this is a, a recent piece that I've done around um, uh, making something positive come of cancer, which I have been fighting for five years. Um, a little bit about how I use technology. Of course, I sculpted this at the larger size there that you see um, in an oil-based clay. And then I have a mold made, and that's what this kind of odd-looking object is here, is a mold of that original. It goes through full foundry process from there. Uh, but a little technology that I use is I had a large version scanned, 3D scanned, and then this is a printed version, 3D printed, at nine inches. And that, I put the mold here, so you can see that I made a mold of it, and then that is the production for the wax and the foundry. One last presentation here is the dignity piece. Um, this is um, an African woman, a Kenyan woman that I did. You can see the original there um, in bronze, uh, life size. Over in the corner there is a wax version of the original, which I did as a full portrait. If you see the full head there, uh, the end piece did not have that. And it's just the way that creative process went. I also um, had this one 3D scanned and had it done in different sizes. And so um, that gives me a lot of room to meet uh, people's needs if they want different sizes. Again, here is the mold where the wax is poured in and that goes to the foundry. And so what I have here are some of the foundry objects. Here is the wax. That is what's called sprued and gated. And then they dip that in a silicon or a ceramic shell and create that around that. They melt that wax out, pour the metal in through this, and then break that shell off. And then that 
is the production process for the little guy here, which is a smaller version. So that's my studio tour 2018. I'm so excited. Thanks for listening.